Decline. Okay, uh, Merry Whiskmas, everybody. It's, it's Whiskmas morning here in BC, uh, 2020. Uh, it's always an exciting day. Trini and I have uh, some big whiskey plans today. It's a little bit different this year just because of the fact that um, there's not really the, the big lineups and the kind of like uh, the pre-gaming, I guess, uh, uh, of, of, of posturing to to get in line and, and fight your way through the store to get what you want. Um, this year, a lot of the uh, Big Spirit release was online pre-order. Um, it was like an 8 a.m. start online where you had to um, log in and then select the bottles that you want and then submit it. And what happened was there were so many thousands upon thousands of people trying to do that at the exact same time that the system just log jammed and uh, I know that my order was time stamped at 8, 11 a.m. And, and you have to pick the store. So it's very specific to the store um, that, you're, that you're choosing to pick up at. So I chose the Fort Street store because here in Victoria, that's the one that has the most selection. So um, at 8, 11, I actually did really well. I got a bunch of bottles. Uh, Trenny's, Trenny's system spun and spun and spun. And he ended up getting, so I, I think he was in around like 8.15 or 8.20. Uh, he did not bad, not as good as I did. Um, so basically we, today we're going to pick up those bottles that we pre-ordered as well as look at what, are, what other selection is, uh, is still available in the store. So um, one thing is that there, you know, it used to be that you on this day you also lined up um, to get your tickets for whiskey fest um and that's why it was whiskmas it was like everything was happening this morning it was you know it was craziness you're like in in line at the store and then heading over to the strath to to get your tickets and uh so without there being a whiskey fest this year or at least presumably there isn't one um it's currently scheduled that i know of uh there's no big there's no big line for the uh for the whiskey fest piece of it uh either so yeah so it's it's a bit different this year but uh we're gonna go, we're gonna see what bottles are available. Um, we're gonna pick up our bottles and then we will show them off to, uh, to you guys and, and let you know what we got. So uh, here's the big, the big pamphlet. Uh, this is this year's pamphlet. Page upon pages upon pages of, of delicious uh, uh, whiskey in here. And uh, we've, we've dog-eared the corners of the ones that we wanted. And uh, you know, we typically do focus on bourbon this time of year because you know, we can kind of get fantastic scotch year round, uh, but the selection of bourbon uh, locally is, uh, is uh, a little thin. So this time of year, some of the, the really great stuff comes in. Um, the Pappies didn't come in this year. Uh, I think they're coming in in January. So I'm sure there'll be some kind of winter spirit lottery for that. So, okay, well, let's see what we get. I'm about to, uh, to head out to meet up with the Trenny. So uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, we are approaching uh, the Fort Street store. Don't worry, I am hands-free. Um, I'm just looking for the Trenny here to see if we can locate him. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, that's not good. I'm just gonna pull up and park and see if I can find him. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here, exciting. Where is this guy? Hey, Trenny. Trenny. Well, well, you just got it. Where's your mask? COVID. You got a mask? You know it. Perfect. Okay, buddy. We're really doing it. We're here. Masking up. I got a mask doing up it. too. Yeah, so, I'll get you. Sure. 
So we are um, casually strolling up at 9.30 when the store actually opened at 7. So I mentioned before the fact that we have, um, we've pre-ordered a bunch of stuff, so we're not really too worried about missing out, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, oh, that's oh. the shit, right? <laughs> Where to go? Close. Um, okay. Okay, so let's do this so thing. Let's head in. So, what should do? We want to look around first, and then go to the counter, probably, right? Yeah, let's just do a little look around. Hey guys. Morning. How's it going? How are you doing? Good. Look at this. Ooh, nice little frog cardias. The 43 year old Canadian. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. 289, though. We got that two brewers. 289 down here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little steep. Yeah, that two brewers is good stuff. Oh, look at this, too. Oh, yeah, that's kind of steep. 21 years old. Cool. All right. The Kentucky Derby version of Woodford. It's just a bottle, though. It's just a logo. Oh, I see. Way. Anything special at all. This is kind of interesting. Yeah. Old Prub bottled in bond. Oh, and the little book here. That 184. Oh, okay. What do we got here? This is some pretty decent ones. World Whiskey Blend. <laughs> what is that about? Okay. A new writer's tier. The Irish section here. Mm -hmm. Well, there's stuff there that people didn't want. Yeah, yeah. 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 You were a signature, oh, what's that? Yeah, so it's all right there. 40%. Cool box. Mm -hmm. Where am I supposed to This section here is the ridiculousness section. I think we had a. A segment last year of the ridiculousness section. Yeah, these, these ones are pretty much always so, here. So, you know, some Bowmores, some Lafroig, some Bunahabin, 27 year old, which is 1350. What else we got? This is some Cognacs. Some Oban 21, Glen Kinchy 24. Oh, Cavalan. Mm. Look at that old Pulpy down there, dude. That's cool. Inch goer. And then you got the Balvenny section here. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then nice. here's one of your uh, favorites the old Highland Park. The Highland Park 25s. Pretty cool. Glen, <laughs> Glen Park was uh, Family Cast 1980. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out another. Good section. stuff. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's a puzzle. Yeah, it's a little puzzle. And it has three different bottles in it. Are they different? I don't know. We got a limited release Bunahaben. Oh yeah, what's this one? Oh, Manzanoa. Manzanoa. That's cool, and a Bladnik. Lots of different stuff. So oh, much good time. Okay. Here it release lot. We'll pull it out when we get back. Sweet weed, okay. Angel's Envy, yes, yeah, we'll take that. Oh, we'll take that, yeah, that's great. Stag, yes, please. Hamburger, yeah. And what is it? Uh, what I got there? Okay, perfect, thanks. Yeah, no great. worries. Thank you. Eagerly awaiting your, your winnings? Mm hmm. I bet you could have some fun in there. Yeah, look at that. Here's your staff. Oh, Ooh, another blood oath. Perfect. Throw that in yeah, we'll Probably need a second basket here. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to need a second basket. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I don't have any back here. 
Just came in last night. I can carry all this. That's fine. You good? Yep. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, we did well. We did well, my friend. Okay, here we go. Yeah. As long as the credit card could handle it. Right. <laughs> See how it does. Yes. <laughs> See what this total price comes to. See what, <laughs> see what Mr. Mastercard has to say about this. <laughs> the Hudson's Bay Mastercard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get some reward points for my. I'll give, be able to buy a shirt. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I guess you had a big rush this morning, hey? Oh, there was a line that started at uh, from two this morning. Oh, it started at two in the morning, oh, the yes. lineup? The lineup did. Wow. wow. We, didn't, we didn't open up until, uh, well, we opened up a bit early, and we opened up at seven today. Yeah. And uh, we didn't open till seven. Wow, I can't believe that people were here at two. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's getting crazier and crazier and every without, year now. That's without any pappy on the shelves or whatever. <laughs> Squares, circles, weird, oblong. Don't forget to add the taxes on there. Oh, shucks, no. It's the most fun part. card. Yeah. Thank you. Well, the part where it says Film the pin. The decline. Thank you. Oh, okay, God. well, fourteen hundred and ninety dollars later. That's uh, yeah. pretty. That's a pretty fun box. It is. <laughs> it's a bit scary, but you know. I think uh, we stayed within our budget. Maybe we did. I have no idea. We did. Well, yeah, kind of. How All are right. we gonna do this while I'm filming? Let's go. Uh, let's go unbox them. Yay! Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Training C. I'm Training. This is C. This is our yearly Whiskmas. This oh. is Whiskmas Day. It's Whiskmas morning. Whiskmas morning. Still. Very excited. So It's one of the only days of the year where it's acceptable to have a dram at 9 a.m. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Besides maybe actually Christmas Except Day too. The, the true yeah. Christmas Day as well. Um, so you will have seen from earlier in the video, we've, you know, we've been around town, you know, we've, uh, we've, we've done some shopping. We have. Um, some big bills. <laughs> Pretty big bills big for bills. sure. Yeah. Um, and we ended up with um, some Canadian whiskey and a lot of uh, a lot of, of bourbons. bourbons. Yeah, so we're um, excited about that because we we've mentioned before, but usually at these spirit releases, um, we don't ever get a chance to get really good bourbon in yeah. British Columbia that often. Yeah. So we try to buy that up if possible. Yeah. Um. You know what? We can always get amazing scotches around here yeah. uh, but the bourbon's a little bit harder to find so typically we focus in on bourbon this time of year one thing that was really cool is that we ran into some some uh, oh, yeah. some viewers uh some friends of ours really yeah. some yeah. online friends of ours and uh everybody was in really great spirits mm -hmm. why wouldn't you be because they're getting into some great spirits exactly <laughs> and you know people are telling us their video ideas which is yeah, so cool that's right? cool. Like, hey why don't you try yeah. this what about this and you know they're asking uh you know what we think of certain bottles and things like that so it's I mean, fun. we're fresh out of ideas so send us your <laughs> yours it's perfect clearly we're out of ideas yeah um so we should probably just get right into this yeah, let's pull up some of these ones so show off again this is stash. this is the 2020 spirit release which means it's a different year because of covid so we had to do all of our uh purchases online mm -hmm. but it was still a first come first come first Sir. come first serve 
well, kind of and situation. So. And the guy at the store said that people started lining up at 2 a.m. Yeah, crazy. 2 a.m. lineups. Um, so you could get, you could order, but there was still plenty of stuff in the stores too. Yeah, yeah. and like, look at this book though. This is filled with all of this year's spirit release whiskeys. Like there's a um, hundred pages. There's literally 100 pages of yeah. whiskey in here. And I think her name is Adele Shaw and she is like the, the um, product like manager. Right. Uh, it is, it's Adele Shaw, category manager, Spirits and Saki, BC Liquor Store. She does a great job every year totally. of bringing in some great single barrels and just, just great um, options for us to, to thumb through and uh, to, to choose. And I think some of these, as we'll pull out, we'll show you, they have the number 2020 on it because they're yeah. specific releases, which is, I think, just cool. It's kind of cool because, you know, the, some, some distilleries were shut down for a period of time. Yeah. Some distilleries were making hand sanitizer. So I think there's going to be kind of like less of that 2020 whiskey that's out there for okay. those people collecting. Let's pull something out here. Should pull it out. Start with the, the big ones. Sure. A couple, okay. of, couple of fun ones here. Okay, this is very cool. This is um, Blood Oath. Bourbon whiskey finished in cognac barrels. Nice wooden box. Look at that. Pack six, the new 2020 version, as we were saying. Yeah, very and nice. And Blood Oath is basically a blend of uh, of three different bourbons. Of I think it, I think this year it's like 14, eight, and seven years old are the different ages on it. But yeah. like the presentation and the packaging is pretty amazing on this every year too. Yeah, beautiful stuff. So that's so, so we got two of those. So I'm gonna just pull out the other one to show you. We've got two of these bad boys, so we're excited about that. So we'll see how it tastes and we'll, uh, you know, we'll crack one open now and then we'll kind of uh, probably hang on to one for a little while. Yeah, and then even you can see on the side of the box it says 2020. Wow, that's kind of cool. So that's kind of awesome. Um, should we have a sip of something? Sure, let's have a sip of this. We have opened some of our Canadian whiskey already. Yeah. But, uh, we're, we're having a shelter point right now. Maybe I'll uh, pull that one out because mm. mm. it's... Appropriate. So if you can't get Shelter Point in your area because it is a little harder to find, go to shelterpoint.ca and you can order right off their website. Absolutely. So this is the Shelter Point single cask triple grain, um, non chill filtered, natural color, 43% alcohol. It is also uh, seven. seven years old, which is really nice because uh, Shelter Point is about that old. Yeah. Know? So it's this is like their oldest stuff. This is their oldest stuff. And look at the color on that. I mean, seven years. Yeah, that's amazing. Color. That so, kind of has a, that murky, almost like brown, like um, uh, what was that bottle that uh, that Scotch was fifteen oh, years yeah, old. Oh yeah, I know it's about Lakewood. Lakewood, Lakewood, Lakewood yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that color. Similar color. Grab yeah. that other Shelter Point too, because we got we have two Shelter Points from this year. This is the collective, and this was basically where the staff picked their favorite barrels and like blended them together at 46%. It's five years old. Again, go to shelterpoint.ca if you want to uh, get your hands on some of their uh, very small batch yeah. um, uh, single malts, Canadian single malts that act sometimes like a scotch. In this case, this one, I think, I think there's a bit more rye in these ones. These are uh, barley and rye. Yeah, and this one's triple grain, so it's the, that you know, there's... Been, um, malted and unmalted plus rye, I think, is that one. So it's, you know, they do have their releases that are 100% malted barley, like a single malt scotch would, yeah. would behave, but they are experimenting and coming up with some cool things. Yeah. So, okay, let's okay, keep let's going. Go, okay, over on, something on your Over end. on this side. So this is a bottle. It's like, this is the whole idea of like, one man's garbage is another man's gold or whatever. Yeah. Like, Angel's Envy is pretty readily available in the US market but like impossible to get here. You ne like, I've never seen it. Here. These are literally lottery bottles here. Yeah. Um, so Angel's only $20 in the States. And yeah. They're, you know. So this is just the, um, the Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished in port wine barrels, 43.3%. Cool bottle though. Looks totally neat. cool. And I, I like that it's finished in port wine barrels because that's a unique thing to bourbon, right? Like they don't do sure. that as often. So, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Go. And I love the, the wings on the back. That yeah, don't great. you have that tattoo on your back? <laughs> yeah, right my lower back, it ends kind of. <laughs> okay, let's okay, we'll go with one more here. So, oh man, what can be said about this One, one of the stars of this year. So this is the Lot 40 Dark Oak. It is yeah. basically, and it's bottled at 48%. Um, it's basically the 
the lot 40 you know and love but it's been aged in, uh for an extra year in uh number four number char. four char barrels um and man it's delicious there were still 100 right yes way. there were still a few bottles available when we were in the stores yeah. today so yeah. Um, I think it's going to go fast, at least the, the batch that's out there right the now. Release. If it sells well, it may be a permanent release. So if you see it, buy it, because we want this to be a permanent release. So yeah. buy this stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> Do it for us. Yeah. Okay. Um, is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have... Here's an interesting one. The Old Ezra 7-year-old uh, Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey. It is... Uh, a Lux Row Distillers uh, product, which are the same people that make the Blood Oath. Very cool. Um, and this one is barrel strength, 58.5%. Um, so this is an exciting one for us. We, like, again, I, I don't know how rare this is. I don't think it's rare in the States, uh, but it certainly is something that only comes in. This is the first time we've ever seen it. Yeah, totally. So that's so cool. it's nice to get these uh, barrel proofs too. Yeah. Like that's exciting. Yeah. Pull one more. Okay. Up. Um, I'll go for a double down here. This is uh, some stuff on the pricier end for yes. us. Uh, we got a couple bottles of the bomb burgers. So that means that you got one Yay. and I got one. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> so we registered online, got in right at 8 a.m. Yeah. We were frantically clicking the buttons to refresh. And uh, my order didn't get in till 8.11, and yours was somewhere between like 8.15, 8.20, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, like system crash. So I got a little bit more than you did on my order, but you did pretty decently as well. Totally, totally. So, and again, it's got the 2020 release right yeah. there, which I think is kind of, it's just cool. And uh, also, this is bottled at 54%. This is a product made by Michter's, so mm -hmm. uh, you know there's going to be some good juice yep. in there. Oh, yeah. Right, good stuff. Okay. Um, anyway, okay. So that is that. Uh, you you go. You go. Yeah, I'll pull one out. Oh, this is we're saving some of these Canadians. Um, so this is the new release by Forty Creek. As you can see, we have dipped into this one yeah, a little yeah. bit. Hey, why not? Um, this is called Resolve. Also again, 2020. 2020 release. Uh, bottle number 624. So it's kind of a, 43 a limited edition style. Yeah. Well, it's every year Forty Creek comes out with a different limited one. Yeah, last Th year they had Unity. Yeah, and you know what? I think it was a really great year for Canadian whiskey because this is my favorite release from them. From Forty Creek, for sure. And Pike Creek was also our oh, favorite yeah. release from Pike Creek. Yeah. Um, this... This is one of the best lot forties ever. Totally. I mean, like even compared against the cast strength, like this is pretty good for a, a regularly available Canadian whiskey is just starting to shine. Yeah, it's, you know? it's blooming. Okay, um, okay. Uh -huh. Here's another one that a uh, little bit more available in the in the states, but here it's like virtually impossible to get the Stag Junior. Mm -hmm. uh, so you only see it once a year here. Yeah, and this is sixty five point one percent barrel proof, unfiltered. From uh, our friends at the Buffalo Trace Distillery, so uh, this is each batch has there's some batch variation in the stag. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully this Again, is one of the, the color of that. One of the so good nice. ones. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very a, reddish. Isn't yeah. It? It's a bit of an illusion with the black label behind it, but still. Yeah. It's nice. Cool. Very cool. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, that is. Oh, right. yeah. Looks like there's two fronts. What do you, you got oh, one left, so let me go again. Okay, um, we also got this Blanton's Gold Edition, yes. which uh, Blanton's Gold for a long time was only available in, uh, I think, Canada and the Europe market. Right, right. now it is in the States, um, but still it's very hard to get your hands on. We've tasted a bottle before. We had a bottle that we bought yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, but this is only the second time we've ever gotten our hands on it. And I think this is the first time we've had it in a box, which is kind of just oh, adds yeah. to the... Yeah, they always like have the box or the bag or the yeah. net or whatever. So, and I'm not sure what... Did we find out what letter was on that one? Oh, I did. I can't remember. I did, I'll, I'll, I'll muck it's, it up. It's one of the letters. <laughs> it's probably a... Uh, an N. Okay. There's two N's in blend. Oh, N's, yeah. Um, okay, and I'll go with my final one here and then you can pull out yours. So, <coughs> la uh, we've got another beautiful Canadian whiskey. Mm. This is Weiser's 22-year-old, bottled at 59.7%. Um, 
they had the 23 year old last year and the 35 before that. And I've said it before, people assume that maybe it's getting lesser quality or something because the age is going down, but mm -hmm. the quality that's in here is insane. Especially this is a pork cast finish, which like balances the perfection of Weiser's flavor. And this the same recipe as the 23 year old from last year. It's just finished differently. Yeah. <clears throat> awesome. Cool. That's cool. Awesome. And the last bottles that we have for display today are I'm right in the center here. A couple of bottles Ooh. of the 1792 Sweet Wheat. Um, nice. We got our hands on one of these bottles previously, but we haven't actually cracked it yet. So, so we're now that we have a couple, we can actually crack one. Yes. So I think we did pretty good. Like, there's you'll notice that we didn't get any scotch. We mentioned it already, but yet, yet. So this is the <laughs> some of the people that we that we recognize are friends from the YouTube community. Um, it was their second or third time going back into the store for the day. So or different stores, right? or different stores. There's or like, there's I think three stores here um, in the South Island. There's the Broadmead store, the uh, the Langford store, yeah. and then the Fort Street store. So like you can go from store to store. They have different offerings at each store. Yeah. And then I don't know was Duncan Up Island participating this year. I think it's participating, but uh, didn't have as big of a selection. Right. Yeah. So like you can you can you know last year we went down island. We hit four stores. Yeah. We we made a day of it for sure. But this time it was kind of easier for us because we had already kind of gotten it all online. Yeah. So we, we just went we there and picked there. up our basket. Yeah. So. so anyways, thanks for joining us. Yeah. This is uh, going to be a good whisk miss and we're always excited about this because these become the contenders for mm. the, the this year's version, the 2021 version of uh, Best Whiskey of the Year. Whiskey of the Year. Yeah. It's been fun. Um, hopefully you're having a happy uh, whisk miss mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we'll see you, see you very soon. All right. Cheers. Cheers.